Hello, you guys. Okay, so my battery's about to die, so this, I'm going to make this quick. So I want to talk about the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, which happened this Saturday, which was absolutely fantastic. So this is going to be kind of like a review of the three things that I watched. I watched Adventure in Time and Space, The Day of the Doctor, and I watched um, the th Five Doctors reboot. Um, first of all, uh, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers till the very end, so then you guys can skip the end if you haven't seen it. So, um, Adventure in Time and Space was basically about, it was like a documentary kind of thing about how Doctor Who came to be, and it was really, really good. So good. Like, it makes me sad that BBC shows are so much better than American shows because it was really, really good. And, um, Finch, he plays Finch from, um, Harry Potter. Who put, he put the, that guy, I forgot his name, uh, he plays um, William Hartnell, who was the first Doctor, and it was just a fantastic movie. It was really, really good. It really played on how um, William Hartnell was, like, forgot his lines and how tough it was and how many problems they went through um, when making Doctor Who, and it was such a good, good movie. And um, it was very emotional. So if you guys don't want to cry, don't watch it because it's super duper emotional, just saying. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but that. Okay, and then Day of the Doctor was so fantastic. It was so good. I mean, um, just um, Matt Smith meeting David Tennant and their whole thing was amazing. And then um, newcomer John Hurt, who is the War Doctor slash 8.5, I believe. He's the 8.5 fifth doctor, I guess. I don't know what kind of, what doctor, he's 8.5, what, that's what I'm calling him. He's 8.5, and he, John Hurt did such a good job, and he was, it was, he did, he, he's like one, now he's gained um, my love, like, of, of him, because he, he did such a good job, I loved him so much, he was really like, um, he kind of called um, 10 and 11 out on their stuff, and it was really funny. And they, he kept on saying things, and it was just hilarious. Like, they made certain lines. And um, so John Hurt was awesome. They, um, the the um, monsters in this one was the Zygons, which is an old Who um, monster. And they basically, they're like these red things with suckers, and they basically um, take on the appearance of anything. So that, and then um, we got to meet Elizabeth the first because they always throughout Doctor Who they made this um, reference to how the Doctor married the Queen Elizabeth the first, the Virgin Queen. So we got to see that, and um, that one that th those whole scenes are hilarious between David and uh, Queen Elizabeth the first is so funny, and. Um, there's tons of Doctor Who references throughout the entire thing. It was really, it not only did it bring a new direction for Doctor Who, it also, it, it also like really appealed to the fans. Like there were little like tiny little references and Easter eggs in it and it was just such a good thing and Moffat did such a good job like thank you God Moffat for not killing anyone or anything or doing anything bad because I was so worried. I was like, I, I read Day of the Doctor written by Stephen Moffat. I was like, mm -hmm. and then, but he totally, he, he did such a good job and I'm so happy that he did. My last thing I want to talk about is the Five Doctors reboot. Now this was on, if this is on BBC, I'll try to put a link below in the description, but it's all about, um, the fifth doctor, the sixth doctor, the seventh doctor, the eighth doctor, John Barrowman's in it, um, and all these doctors, they're not in the 50th anniversary, sorry. Um, and um, so it's basically about them uh, trying to be in the 50th anniversary, and Stephen Moffat is the, he's the, he's the villain, and it's so funny. It's the funniest thing. I was laughing my head off. It was so hilarious, because they just had like, made like really funny things like uh peter davidson he's the fifth doctor he's just like he's just like oh i have a, a, a um oh my god i have 
someone on the inside of the 50th anniversary that can let us in and then um, they're just like um, you mean uh, David Tennant, your like son-in-law, and he's like, uh, no, it's just so funny. And they make fun of everything. They make fun of John Barrowman and his like his singing career. It's so funny. If if you guys have time to watch it, watch it. It's hilarious. It was so funny. Now I've reached the spoiler alert um, part. So if you guys haven't seen uh, Venture in Time and Space, The Day of the Doctor, or the Five Doctors reboot, go watch it, and then you can come back and watch this part. The ending of Venture of Time and Space is the most emotional thing I've ever went through. Like, I was crying. I was bawling at the end. It was so sad, especially since William Hartnell, like, they just told him that they're going to regenerate him. And um, they want, um, they're going to have a second doctor. And he is in his house and he's crying he says I don't want to go I don't want to go I don't want to go and it's just no you can't no it's not a that's a big no-no because that's just uh, ten the tenth doctor said I don't want to go before he regenerated and it's just so sad so that part was really emotional I started crying and then just to top it off um, he's saying his last lines right before he's regen going to regenerate and um, he looks over and he sees Matt Smith and he's smiling back and that that was just it was heartbreaking but it was just so I, I don't even know how to describe it like it was just so like it was kind of like Matt Smith saying thank you so much you started it all and it was just it was just so sweet and nice and I really that was such a good movie if you guys have to you guys have to watch it okay and then here we go into spoilers of Day of the Doctor okay so in the ending they reveal that John Hurt John Hurt's doctor who was supposed to um, do the kill switch the end Gallifrey um, kill all the Daleks all the Time Lords it reveals that um, they actually froze Gallifrey and they put it into a painting and so now Matt Smith's quest, the Eleventh Doctor's quest is to find Gallifrey, find his people that is in this painting and it's in, in a frozen part of time. So I love that. I love how they saved Gallifrey because that was the whole like last later part of the Doctor like how 9, 10, and 11, it was all about um, his undeniable guilt for killing off all of his people. And now he has this hope to, to find them and he's not alone anymore. Which, by the way, that goes, ties back into the face of Bo uh, for Yana with, with the Master saying, you are not alone. Maybe he also knew not only the Master, but also because he knew there was a pocket universe with Gallifrey in it so hey you never know and um, also I'm sorry I'm looking at my okay then David Tennant his last words Jesus Christ Moffat I swear to God I hate you for this he said I well we better find a good place because I don't want to go and then it's just like mm, you can't do that no 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 and then, and then Matt Smith's like, he always says that. It's just like, no, he can't, <laughs> it feels. But um, probably Moffat, he was like, thought of it, and he's just like, hey, hey, hey. And then David's like, let's do it. Let's make the fangirls cry. But, you know, whatever. That's what my thoughts on it. But um, that was really sad and emotional. But there was just one part between uh, the 10th Doctor and the 11th Doctor, and it felt kind of out of place but a good out of place you know like he says something along ten says along something along the lines of I'm glad that I'm in good hands and it was just kinda like David telling Matt Smith uh, you did such a good job and I know I was a tough act to follow but you you really made it and it just it was so cute and amazing and just adorable and it just <laughs> I loved it and um, oh, and then nine showed up. The ninth Doctor, Christopher Eccleston, which he was just a clip, but I was excited, like with all the doctors um, trying to freeze Gallifrey, and it's just 
and, and just, all the doctors and nine and ten and eleven and John Hurt and he's like so all twelve doctors are um freezing all, all twelve doctors are here and then he's like no all thirteen then Peter Capaldi face stare and it was epic and I squealed and all my cousins who were watching it with me squealed like little girls and it was so fun and <laughs> it was just so good and just everything like Peter Capaldi even though he's like for a split second I'm kind of even though Matt Smith is leaving and it breaks my heart I'm just kind of excited for Peter Capaldi and what what he's gonna do with like the doctor role and also like how now his quest is like to find the pocket universe with Gallifrey in it so you don't know then I had some gripes with, with Dave the doctor so first of all Billy Piper is in it, which made me very, very happy, but Rose isn't in it, only the bad, kind of bad wolf character, and it just made me so upset because I wanted Rose to meet Eleven, and I wanted Ten and Rose to have some, like, communication or something, and no, they didn't even get to see her, only John Hurt's doctor got to see her. And it just made me sad inside, especially when John Hurt's like, Oh, bad wolf girl, I can kiss you. And Ten's like, What? Bad wolf? Did you just say bad wolf? And it's just like, No, you can't see it. And that was really depressing. Also, John Barrowman wasn't in the special. And I really, like, John Barrowman would totally have jumped at the chance of being in the special. Um, like, Kevin Jack, I was really upset that he wasn't in it. And I really wanted um, John Barrowman to be in it. But hey, what can you do? And then um, my last um, kind of gripe with it was, other than that, it was like a fantastic episode and I really liked how it went and I loved how Stephen Moffat wrote, wrote it. Um, but the last thing was, I got really confused because the end of time, like um, David Tennant's um, last um, days before he regenerates was all about the master and how, um, how the... Um, Gallifreyan High Council pretty much turned, um, started becoming like Daleks, like they didn't care, like they would destroy entire universes and they lost all their morals, and the Doctor was completely against that, and that's why the whole End of Time episode happened, and um, they wanted Gallifrey to be where Earth was, and the Doctor fought them and um, made them go back into their um, own time, their own time, and the whole thing is time locked. So I was. So what made me confused was like, okay, so if Gallifrey is saved, then shouldn't that whole episode not have happened? So I was super duper confused. It might have like the thing of the wibbly wobbly and um, it being time locked, so that still could happen. But still, that kind of icked me a little bit. I didn't know if whether or not that would come into play if they would explain it. Probably knowing Moffat, they probably won't explain it ever. But um, yeah, I was upset about that. But other than that, it was an amazing episode. I watched it three times and I still loved it. And I loved it even more and more every single time I watched it. And there were just like really funny lines that, um, that harkened back into the old days, like from nine to uh, 10, like wibbly wobbly and um, the, this is my wibbly wobbly chapter. It goes ding when there's stuff and things like that. And one of the funniest lines I think was John Hurt. He's uh, uh, regenerating, and he's like, he's like, oh, I guess I'm wearing a bit thin. Hope the ears are less conspicuous this time. And I laughed so hard at that part because Nine's ears stuck out like mad, and it was hilarious. But um, and just like the ending with all the doctors and Matt Smith smiling up and he's going home and it's just it was it was a really nice direction that um, Moffat um, went put the doc uh, the Doctor Who in and um, I really and there's like this thing going around that's everyone's like Moffat killed ev all these people so then he could save the whole Gallifreyan race and maybe I don't know so yeah so that was my um, thoughts and opinions about Day of the Doctor and um, Five Doctors Reboot and Adventure in Time and Space. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. It's really nice. It's really cool. But I just love all these 
pictures so much. They're so beautiful and I'll put a link below where you guys can find them. That's um, everything I want to talk about today. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!